Well, A Plague Tale is back with its sequel, Requiem, following on from the first game, A Plague Tale Innocence, which managed to pleasantly surprise audiences when it was released back in 2019. It wowed fans with its unique rat technology, and now A Plague Tale Requiem is here to improve on the first game as Amicia and Hugo desperately search for a cure. A Plague Tale is set in 14th century France, although in this game you do get to go to other places, but the Black Death is rife, and it's killing hundreds of millions of people. Rats are identified as carrying the disease and spreading it like wildfire, and Hugo appears to have a mysterious connection with the rats, a gift that is being exploited by the people around him. Unfortunately for Hugo and Amicia, this connection with the rats is slowly killing the boy, and it's up to them to find a cure before it takes Hugo's life. We start the game in relative peace and quiet since the events of the first game, with Amicia and Hugo and their mother have decided for a fresh start and move to a new city. But it's not long before they find trouble once again and the rats arrive with the plague and all hell breaks loose. And once again the rat technology is employed and they run and crawl all over each other moving in a huge mass together like some big deadly creature. With regards to the gameplay, this is first and foremost a stealth game, so it's all about finding your way from point A to point B, often trying to coax Hugo along with you without getting detected and without getting mauled by rats. Yeah, more often than not, there's enemies that get in your way and you can take them down, but you have to remember that you are playing as Amicia, a teenage girl, so it's not really a fair fight when she has to take on the men of the 14th century, especially when they are desperate. And the main tool that you've got in your toolkit is a slingshot, but that does allow you to create distractions and sneak past enemies. Amicia does have some unique skills though, she's an expert when it comes to plants and herbs. That means she can collect various items from nature, combine them together, and make new innovative ammo for the slingshot. That allows you to affect the environment primarily by creating noise, but also by affecting the rats. The rats, while dangerous to you, are also a tool that you can use against your enemies. Now, it's all about the use of light, they don't like it, and they won't touch you when you're in it or near it. Therefore, if you can manage to knock out an enemy's torch, then they are just going to be food for the rats. Well, a Plague Tale Requiem does bring in some new toys to play with, including a crossbow and various companions. So you can kill outright with the crossbow, as long as the enemies aren't wearing body armour, and you can use your companions to fight for you. For example, the soldier will fight for you, or you can work with Hugo, who controls the rats much more directly. Now, companions are very powerful, but unfortunately they're not with you the whole time. One of the standout features of the original game were the graphics, so the fidelity and the detail achieved in A Plague Tale Innocence were top shelf, and the sequel is as equally as impressive. The environment's really detailed, plus you get to experience it during the day and at night, when the sun is shining and also when it's raining. You know, whatever the weather, this is a stunning looking game. Well, the game ramps up in difficulty as you progress through the levels, which is natural. You know, the stealth sections are fairly frequent and can seem overly punishing in places. You know, if you get spotted during these stealth sections, enemies have the nasty habit of calling each other, and more often than not, they're going to beat you to death. Now, while this doesn't really differ from the original, here, you do have a few more options and flexibility to escape the deadly beatdowns. So stealth isn't normally my genre, and I was made acutely aware of this during my time with A Plague Tale Requiem. One thing the game does really well is bring you along for the journey and clearly signpost where you have to go and what you have to do. So stealth could be compounded by confusion if you didn't know where to go, but your destination is normally clearly laid out in front of you, and while you may not know how to get there, at least you do know where to go, and how you get there is going to be the fun part, and this is something I really appreciated about the game. Well, your actions have consequences in a Plague Tale Requiem, so while the first game was about getting through the ordeal and navigating little Hugo to safety, here you've got the chance to kill more enemies, and it's something that weighs heavy on Amicia on their adventure. Often the supporting cast will react negatively if they see Amicia kill someone, and that adds to the story that you have to live with your actions. You know, similar to Red Dead Redemption 2, the environment reacting to your actions adds weight to the overall story and also the gameplay mechanics. Well, overall, A Plague Tale Requiem is a great sequel, and while I don't really gel well with stealth games, you know, this is more than just stealth. There are layers here of great story, interesting gameplay, fantastic visuals, 
and great audio too. So if you played the original, then it's a no-brainer to try out the sequel. But if you haven't played the series before and you like a good adventure, I would recommend giving a Plague Tale Requiem a go. Well, the game was developed by Asobo Studio as published by Focus Entertainment. It's available for the PlayStation 5, the Xbox Series S and X, Nintendo Switch, and also PC2. And it was originally released on the 18th of October, 2022. Well, that is it for my review of A Plague Tale Requiem. Really, really good game. Also available on Xbox Game Pass. I forgot to mention that. It's a really, really good game if you want to dip into on that service. Well, that is it for A Plague Tale Requiem. And as always, thank you so much for watching or listening. Hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. Or you can check me out on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. Well, if you enjoyed this video, found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the videos on the channel. Well, thanks again, and I'll see you soon.